Pauper is a constructed format where decks must have at least 60 cards with up to 15 additional cyber ones. It's also a format where only common cards can be used, and because of that, Pauper is mostly cheap. Let's look at one of the most played cards from both Standard and Pioneer, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. In most places, its base price is around $20, and it's hard to find as it's usually out of stock. Now, look at one of the Pauper staples, Lightning Bolt. You can find it as cheap as 50 cents, and since it's been reprinted so many times, you should find plenty of places with a set for your disposal. Now imagine this, for the same price of a fable, you can get most pauper staples for one deck and still get enough change to buy yourself some dinner or, you know, just the rest of the deck. On top of that, this is an eternal format, meaning there are no rotations, unlike standard, and as such, your cards and investment would be evergreen, except if they are banned. But we'll cover that later. Some cards can be downshifted from a high rarity to common, making all versions playable on the format. It's also worth noting any card printed at common rarity can be used, meaning it won't matter if they get upshifted. As long as there's a common version of it, all of them are power friendly. Excited to build your first deck? Let's talk about deck building. Before deciding on one, you must ask yourself what kind of deck do you want to play. To answer this, let's cover the most common strategies of the format. Aggro decks run cheap creatures along with efficient removal to put their opponents into a clock. Control decks that aim to stall the game and finish their opponents by cheating into play big creatures. Combo decks that want to combine different cards to generate insane card advantage or end the game in a turn. Mid-range decks run creatures with card advantage effects whenever they are cast or enter the battlefield. And tempo decks that run a combination of cheap body creatures and counter magic to take over the game. Now let's talk briefly about the banned cards of the format. At the time of this video, Popper has a total of 31 cards banned. These include cards that have been too powerful for the meta or that had straight broken it when they were legal. Scan the QR code if you want to look at the most updated list. Before we jump into actual decks, let me introduce you to the cards that you should consider prioritizing in getting your hands on, such as Counterspell, Lightning Bolt, Cast Down, cantrips like Preordain, Thunder, and Brainstorm, Fetchlands like Ash Barrens or Evolving Wilds, Dual Lands or Snow Dual Lands, Tribing Lands, and bounce bands. Some popular cyber cards can fit into any deck that share their color. The list includes Relic of Progenitus against Greater Strategies, Fire of Last against Blue Decks, Hire of Last against Red Decks, Dures against Combo Strategies, Negate against Control Decks, Fiery Cannonade against Agro Decks, Dust to Dust for Artifact Decks, and Serene Heart against Enchantment Decks. With this, you should be able to cover your bases against most decks. With that in mind, now let's cover some of the strategies that have been in Pauper for a while and are both powerful and cheap. First is Burn, a deck that relies on cheap creatures and spot removal, mainly used to damage your opponents. If things align correctly, I've seen this version of the deck kill people as early as turn 3. Next it's Boris Bully, another aggressive deck with a more solid late game than its Burn counterpart. The plan of it is to put multiple creatures into play, usually tokens, to finish things off with a big strike later. Elves is an aggro combo deck that relies on synergies to cast multiple creatures on a turn and end things in one turn. Mono Black Midrange is a disrupted deck that threatens to kill anything in front of it and take over the game with a solid devotion. Mono White Heroic it's an aggressive deck similar to burn, but instead of playing multiple creatures, you usually just use one with tons of auras attached to it to end games. Delbert Tempo or Mono Blue Fairies, who can play cheap creatures with evasion that disrupt your opponent's plays and control the game and outvalue them with card advantage. With that covered, let's discuss now where to play. The format is mostly played on MTEO due to how cheap it can be compared to real life. With that said, it's a very popular format in real life in countries like Brazil, Italy and United States. 
where many local game stores run weekly pauper events. You can also check the pauper reddit page where you can find the latest discussion topics around the format and, more importantly, find dedicated Discord communities to pauper and archetypes. You can also find more pauper related info on Twitter with the hashtag MTEPOP. Now that I got your interest, why would you play pauper? The answer is simple, pauper is cheap. Let's take a look at a standard deck with Grixis midrange. The base price is over $400 in real life and around the same price tag on MTEO. This deck will only last a couple of more sets as some of the cards will rotate eventually and inevitably lose their value. Meanwhile, Pauper decks are eternal and have an average price tag of $40. But what's interesting about it is that the thing that makes them pricier is not the main deck itself, but rather the cyborg cards that can be replaced for cheaper ones. Let's see what $400 looks like in Pauper. That's around 32 decks that you can build if you optimize your resources. And if you want to engage your community with the format, you can pack them and take them to your local game store to play with your friends that may be bored with the style sets. This also will help your local game stores as most of the pauper staples can be found in bulk and by promoting the format, you will help them to get rid of it and engage new players that want to play competitively for less money. Following the same train of thought, while pauper has solid strategies, it's still yet to be solved meaning that rogue decks can compete with the top decks on equal ground. This is why I have a dedicated power channel to showcase Bruce as there are still a lot of strategies to be discovered. And in a nutshell, this is Pauper. Now if you are new to Pauper and want to test other cool decks, click into that playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.